was just walking home from the produce store and I thought, hmm, I should make some kind of sausage and pepper stir fry thing and maybe I'll just go ahead and do it now and make a video since I haven't been very good at actually making videos with me in them. I also tested my phone to see if there was a way to pause the video and keep recording, but I, every time I hit the only button I could hit, it turned it off completely and I couldn't pause it. So I'm going to try to prepare this whole thing um, in, the, in the frying pan for you and then I'll just have to cut in another video or a picture at the end. So I'm going to make the entree and then later when I have dinner, I'll take this entree, warm it up um, if it's gotten cool and add some vegetables. I was thinking maybe green beans um, and cantaloupe would be good with this or broccoli or Brussels sprouts or whatever. Something green is what I was thinking. Um, so what I'm using for sausage is the Light Life Gimme Lean Meatless Sausage. I'm sorry I tore off the part of the package and I had it in the freezer but I thawed it out um, yesterday. So I'm using you know a serving of this and I've got some peppers. I have red and yellow and an onion. So this just a, a little bit of each because I'm just making this for me. So it's just for one person. Um, and some portobello mushrooms, but any kind of mushrooms, just because I picked them up at the produce store today, so I want to use them. And I wasn't sure how to season it because this has a flavor to it. It's got seasonings in it. Um, but I'm going to stick with garlic, just some garlic powder because I don't have any cloves or minced garlic would be good. Um, and I, I took this sausage, which is the sticky stuff, it's not really sausage either, and I um, rolled it into like a link that I'm going to like cut up in little chunks now, but it's not cooked. I'm just thinking of how my mom makes actual sausage and peppers, which is very different than this, <laughs> but she uses Italian sausage and she cuts them up. Um, and I have olive oil spray and I've got a little bit of water right here so I can simmer fry everything. And the, so I haven't put the garlic on it yet. So I'm going to let this simmer fry so that the sausage cooks and um, the vegetables get a little bit soft. And I thought about if I should stir in some shirataki noodles afterwards to volumize this, um, which might be good. But instead, I have some shredded cabbage that I also picked up at the produce store. So I'm just going to throw in like a handful of this towards the end and it'll um, increase volume so that I have a good source of protein and a plate full of nutri nutritious food, but not too many um, less healthy calories, so not any fat, not any saturated fat. I don't want to go down that road, whether or not it's as bad as people say, but it certainly isn't something that they're recommended we do our best to add to our food. They're just saying that we don't, maybe we don't have to be as strict. Um, but the jury's still out on that. Does that make sense? Don't start adding butter and Crisco and stuff to your food. Just maybe don't um, avoid it altogether. So I'm letting um, the mushrooms start getting a little bit brown and the sausage is getting brown and I'm turning it over so it'll get brown on all sides. You know, General cooking stuff that I'm sure you know how to do and I don't have to tell you. I should bring the camera over and let you see this. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do a little simmer fry. Like that. And some garlic powder. There's just a little bit left in here, so like a quarter of a teaspoon. Just go ahead. I think I'll let this cook about a minute or two before I add in 
some of this cabbage and then I'll just let it simmer just a bit till the cabbage gets to the texture that I like, which is a little bit mushy. So it's cool. It looks like it's making a little bit of a, a brown gravy in here from the fake sausage and the mushrooms. The mushrooms are doing it too. Okay, let's see if I can make that camera mobile. Oh, I didn't see me in there and I thought I forgot to turn it on and then I remembered I was standing behind it. Oh, I'm such an airhead. Okay, this is a big frying pan for a little bit of food, but I like the way this pan cooks. So it's simmering nicely, not in a quarter cup of olive oil, which some people uh, would do without realizing that that's hundreds of calories. Instead, it's simmering frying in water. I think I can go ahead and add a handful of cabbage. All right, and I'm just gonna let it simmer fry. I might add water one more time. Um, let this cook down, as they say. And then I will have my dinner entree. So this right here has about 100 calories, so that gives you 100 or so to play with your vegetables. Okay. Okay, this is what I ended up with. Um, the stir fry you watched me make there and some roasted green beans and some fresh melon. So, <clears throat> um, I'm assuming it's going to be a delicious vegetarian meal and it, I know it has uh, less than 200 calories. Yay!